In this set of videos, I'll be going over ways to cover, personalize a license plate, license tag, using tack glue versus craft glue. These are just ways to cover a license tag. So if you don't have sublimation, if you're not able to use sublimation, uh, if you don't have a cricket or silhouette to cut the design out, we'll go over cutting it out, applying it, and um, getting your tag ready to customize it. As a matter of fact, this is, is the video of tacky glue versus craft glue to see which application we like the best. And okay, our curiosity has been sparked and we want to see how these two compare to each other. We did this tag with the tacky glue and I don't want to combine it. This here craft glue is really loose and they say is you can use it on fabric. So if it's strong enough to hold fabric in place, I'm sure it should work with paper. This also, this is non-toxic for fabrics. I'm sure fabric is pre-washed. It says for fabric, I'm wondering if I want even coat of glue Clear dry surface, press and hold firmly. So we're gonna see how it works. Now, if you notice on the tags, once again, like I said, this is a sublimation tag. You get one side that's uncovered and a side that's covered with a protective film, which is a sublimation side. It has a shiny finished surface to it and it, we're, we're going to just apply this to see if it will stick to the surface first. If not, we're going to roughen it up and uh, maybe put, spray a little coat, uh, pop a coat of prime or paint on it to give it something to stick to. But if not, you know, we'll reclaim it. So we're going to try the, um, the craft glue, see how it works. Okay, for this experiment, I want it to use the same camouflage pattern but recall the paper messed up on that first run the coating does seem to help so I do suggest whenever you are using paper products to coat it so I'm going to go ahead and like I said this is a 12 by 12 so we cut it in half we're going to have our two two halves and we'll have the other one we can use it on a on another project. Guess it's the, a matter of determining which way you want your design to lay on your plate if it makes a difference. Imagine in some situation it just might make a difference. But for us in this one, we're just gonna line it up right there at six inches. Okay, now we've got our cut. I'm going to put some polyurethane on this, let it dry. I don't think the glue, this type of glue is going to stick to this shiny surface too good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pop a layer of polyurethane on this as well to give it something to bond to. So we have sprayed the pattern with polyurethane. I'm gonna go spray this tag and we're gonna let them sit and dry. Okay, I sprayed the tag with a coat of polyurethane. I'm gonna get this about a good 10 minutes to dry. Then we'll come back and let's see. Okay, on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and spray uh, layer on the back. Okay, back is protected. I'm gonna let this sit and dry. And we'll come back and marry the two. Okay, at this point, we have a black coat of polyurethane on 
both surfaces. I want to see how this is going to hold up. On the plate. Okay, that's smooth. I'm going to go ahead and um, apply the print. Now is just to let it sit and dry. Look how smooth that is. That is right on point. I'm gonna let this sit here and dry. Um, just give it a few minutes and we'll come back and see how it actually takes. Okay, as far as coverage with the craft glue it is really smooth i like that finish there there are no bumps air bubble rises or anything i like that finish you're able to peel it and the paper is not it is not really bonded to the plate it's just sticking to the plate but it's, it's smooth it, you can work it now the bondage with the tacky glue it is now that's on that is connected you can hear the paper as it rips away from the corner as it rips away from the um, tag so as far as bonding, this, this is bonded. This is glued to the plate. Whereas with the craft glue, it's merely connected to the plate. As uh, with the, the craft glue, it's just merely connected to the plate where this here is, is that's that's a bond that's a permanent bond it's ripping when you move it where this here as you peel it off it's um easily removed but the finish is really smooth it's a as far as bent on there the bond itself is pretty tight but it will remove let me see if i can't repair this corner how is Repairs, let's see. Put us some glue there. It's a bit spotty right now, but I'm gonna let that dry. We'll come back and see if we can't wipe it out. Anything that little pullback mark, that crease may still be in there, but See how it takes. And as far as the glue, let me see if we can glue that back down and press it back out. Okay, it took 
pretty good. Okay, so I was able to get that tacked back onto the plate with the crafting glue. And it took pretty good, it's pretty smooth. And now just take your exact long cut around the edges. said before when you're cutting around the edges when you're cutting the edges out you want to use I use a thin blade so I can go with the contour easier to turn and twist and I use a, a downward forward downward stroke motion okay and there you have it this one is printed with the craft glue and this one was done with the tacky glue now in fair comparison when I started this video I was going on about the smoothness how smooth this is using the thin layer of craft glue this is really smooth I like that finish and my complaint then was the roughness of the tack, tacky glue. You can see waves in it. As you, as you see, you can see the waves. And with the craft glue, you cannot. And what I discovered with the craft glue, I was able to peel the image away from the plate it peeled it, it peeled off it didn't rip it but with the tack glue it is it is it's a real bond it when you pull it from the edges when you start to try to peel it from the uh, plate it rips as with the craft glue it will slowly if you're slow about it if you're slowly removing it you can peel it off of the plate my preference is as far as tacking it to your tags using the tacky glue what i did not like was the waviness in the finish to give it an even now to give this a fair assessment i need another test and that's where this plate come in now with this plate i applied the same technique and process as I did with the craft glue. This plate I did once again with the tacky glue as with this one. So you can still see the waves in that. Now my findings use a very thin layer. You just want to cover it as thin as possible. You just want an even coverage of the tacky glue. You don't want it to be thick. I must say when I added this one, I did it with my fingers and it was a thick layer. So I had to squeeze more glue out, have more opportunity for air, clumps, lumps, as you see, to get under it, which made it wavy. However, when I used a thin layer of tack glue, I thinned it out real smooth, just made sure I had even coverage. Everything was thorough. 
Voila, look at that. A beautiful finish. That is smooth as well as this one. But like I said, with this one, this would be more like a removable application. Whereas your tacky glue is gonna be more of a permanent application. So this is just an alternative if you don't have, say, sublimation. Um, if you don't, this is a way to do it. If you don't have a silhouette to cut it out, cameo or cutter of any sort, just using a Zacto. Uh, I prefer the tacky glue over the craft glue because this is more like a permanent bond. As you saw when I start to rip this corner from off the camouflage tag, which by the way, the corner did take pretty good. I'm so there you have it. You have your tacky glue application, your craft glue application. So my preference, if you wanna use paper for an alternative to cover a license plate, license tag, then I would suggest tacky glue. There's probably other mediums you could use, other glues that will hold it, but I was just at the Dollar Tree trying some things. Dollar 25 tacky glue. There's no telling how many tags you can cover this with a thin layer of glue. These are covered, but they're not finished. You can apply whatever design or whatever you like to them. Or if you would say this is finished and this is just the way you want it, then it's suggested you would cover them with resin, some kind of epoxy or something to, to protect it. And the reason, once again, I said, why would you want to use paper uh, on your tag? It's because you like the print, the pattern, if you were going to sublimate it, no problem. You could print it out. But like I said, if you don't have a sublimation and you like the design, it's not offered in vinyl. We also prefer using vinyl. But if you don't have vinyl, that print in vinyl, then, and it's in paper, this would be a good way to apply the paper to your tag. Uh, overall, I think the right application with tacky glue is the winner, hands down.